Two years ago, I paraphrased lyrics from my favorite Whitney Houston song and asked you to make the 2018-2020 administration our one moment in time when we would be more than we thought we could be, when all of our dreams were a heartbeat away and the answers were all up to us. I shared with you my hopes, my dreams, my plans, and some of my vision. Nervously, I presented the seven grand initiatives, each with a goal of a thousand. Last year, I shared with you more of my vision to make the GFWC name more well known and announced the three brand initiatives, each with a goal of a thousand. This year, this year I have to apologize to you for underestimating your enthusiasm, your capabilities, your openness to new ideas, and your commitment. So I now apologize to you for setting the goals so slow at a thousand. Grand initiative, Martin Luther King Day, administration goal that 1,000 projects would be undertaken on MLK Day. Reality, 1,461 projects were completed. Grand Initiative, Women in the Military, goal that 1,000 projects would be undertaken for women in the military. Reality, 1,989 projects were completed. Grand Initiative, Legislative Action Center, goal that 1,000 members would join the LAC. Reality, 2,776 members have joined since July 1, 2018. Brand initiative, Miranda's Law. Goal, that 1,000 contacts would be made with United States Senators and Representatives on September 23, 2019, urging passage of Miranda's Law. Reality, 8,947 contacts were made with U.S. Senators and Representatives on that day urging passage of Miranda's Law. Brand Initiative, 3D Gun Safety Act, administration goal, that 1,000 contacts would be made with United States Senators and Representatives on October 23, 2019, urging passage of the 3D Gun Safety Act. Reality, 7,633 contacts were made with U.S. Senators and Representatives on that day, urging passage of the 3D Gun Safety Act. GFWC's Legislative Blitz on April 24, 2020, Federation Day, U.S. Representatives and Senators received 8,261 contacts from members urging passage of Miranda's Law and the 3D Gun Safety Act, and the numbers are still coming in from states. Due to unforeseen circumstances, the impeachment proceedings, the pandemic legislation, we did not see the bills pass. However, we made an impact and GFWC's name became known. I received messages from several aides and assistants to the offices of US legislators that they were impressed that it was not just their office receiving the contacts, but everyone they talked to on the Hill that day. Job well done, GFWC. Over 41,500 contacts to congressmen regarding the 3D gun bill, Miranda's Law, the ERA, Women's History Coin Act, and the Vi Violence Against Women Act brought the name of GFWC to the forefront and advanced our brand. We are being recognized. Your efforts have resulted in a call from U.S. Senator Barbara Lee from California, from her office, asking GFWC to endorse the Centennial Coin Act before it was introduced. A call from Reed Mackey of the Child Labor Coalition, asking GFWC to endorse the Children's Act for Responsible Employment and Farm Safety. And a request for GFWC to join the ERA Coalition. Build on this recognition in the next administration. Continue to contact U.S. Senators and legislators on passage 
of the 3D Gun Safety Act, Miranda's Law, and other legislation that GFWC endorses. GFWC's name is out there. Let's make sure we keep it there. Brand Initiative, 100, 100th anniversary of the right to vote goal that 1,000 projects would be in place to celebrate the 100th anniversary of women winning, winning the right to vote in August of, 2020, of 2020. Reality, 1,007 celebratory projects are in place to celebrate the 100th anniversary. Grand Initiative, Million Dollar Club, administration goal, that 1,000 members would join the Million Dollar Club by donating $1,000 each. Reality, we did not reach this goal, but we did realize 235,134 dollars and 34 cents were donated through the capital campaign to the Million Dollar Club for the capital campaign. Grand Initiative. Arbor Day, goal that 1,000 trees would be planted. Now I want you to look at the picture of the tree-lined road that is behind me. And I want you to imagine driving on it for 27 and a quarter miles. And during that entire 27 and a quarter miles, you would be driving with trees lining both sides of the road. Why? Because in reality, you planted 28,783 trees, enough to line a road on both sides for 27 and a quarter miles. Wow. Grand initiative, Dr. Seuss books. Administration goal that 1,000 Dr. Seuss books would be donated to local state and DC children's programs. Last year, I told you that if we stacked the books, the pile would be taller than the Empire State Building. Well, this year, with the grand total of books stacked, the pile would be taller than the Empire State Building and any other building in the United States. The pile would be a wee bit taller than the Shanghai Twisted Tower, which is 2,073 feet and pictured behind me and it is the second tallest building in the world because in reality, you donated 74,736 books, Dr. Seuss books, to local, state, and DC children. Last grand initiative, Souls for Souls, Nike reuses show, shoe program. Administration goal that 1,000 pairs of shoes would be donated to Souls for Souls or the Nike program. This is a picture of the football stadium of the University of Michigan, which is the largest stadium, collegiate or professional, in the country. The stadium holds 107,601 people. I want you to picture this stadium packed to capacity as it is in this picture, and that in every seat is sitting a person wearing a pair of your donated shoes. Oh, and there would also be over 9,759 more people wearing your donated shoes standing online to get into this filled stadium because in reality, you donated 117,360 pairs of shoes to the Souls for Souls Nike program. I am so very proud of all that you accomplished with the initiative and so deeply touched at how lovingly you embrace them. I am in awe of your commitment and hope you will never be underestimated in the future. One of the opportunities that you afforded me was to distribute the Dr. Seuss books that you sent to headquarters, the members of the executive committee, the president's special assistant, the president's assistants, and some of the staff each had an opportunity to distribute some of the books to the schools in DC. Often we would finish delivering the books and emptying the shelves at headquarters only to return and there would be more books waiting from you. So many times I had the joy of distributing the books by myself with the help of our trusted taxi driver, Hank, 
who carried boxes and boxes of books into schools. It warms my heart every time I think of the children receiving the books you donated. My favorite three memories were of the little girl who after she received her book, came up to me and pulled on my shirt and said, book lady, could I have a book for my little sister? Because she doesn't have any books either. And then there was a little girl who was so overwhelmed by having to choose a book that she kept going back and forth and back and forth, trying to make up her mind. And I finally asked her what was her favorite color. And she said, yellow. The decision was made by the yellow cover of one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And then there was Jackson Wright. After he chose his book, I took it from him, opened it and picked up my pen. And he immediately grabbed my hand and came as close as he could to my face and whispered, don't write in the book. They'll yell at you if you do. I told him it was okay to write in this book as it was his book to take home and keep forever. He thought for a moment and then said, well, my full name is Jackson LeBron Wright with a W. GFWC also answered a call from the USO and donated 50 books to the USO's United Through Reading military program. I visited the center at BWI and watched an about to be deployed woman soldier being videotaped as she read one of our books to her child. It was very heartwarming knowing that the DVD and our book would be sent to her child back home to hear her read to him every night. Know that the best part of being the international president for me has always been being with you. My favorite times during these past two years have been the times that we have been together at convention, region conferences, federation anniversaries, and club meetings. I love to share the fun and the laughter. I thank you for all the cards and the emails that you have sent me with loving, kind words. And please know that I will keep them all in a special box, and I will keep all of you in a special part in my heart. And as I bid you farewell, I thought it would be appropriate to quote Dr. Seuss as he was such a part of this administration. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. As I begin with, began with a Whitney Houston song, I will end with one. Know that I will always, always love you, the wonderful, wonderful members of GFWC. I thank you with all my heart for making the 2018-2000 administration, our one moment in time, so much more than I ever, ever dreamed it would be. Thank you.